Welcome back to another video here on Perpetually Abroad. Today I'm standing in Ho Chi Minh City. Today I want to talk about one thing that I really appreciate about Vietnamese or Asian cultures comparing to Western culture in general. So let's jump into the video. This is not specific for Vietnamese culture, it's Asia in general. But because I live in Vietnam, I'm going to refer to Vietnam, how people behave in one specific aspect. And that's about money, but not in the way you might think. It's money in a different way. So you might be asking, money? What kind of money are you talking about? Well, I'm gonna get straight to the point here, guys. What I really appreciate about Vietnamese or Asian culture is that people are not cheap with small amounts at, for example, a cafe or a restaurant or stuff like that. Because it's a different kind of mindset when it comes to sharing in Vietnamese culture and Asian culture compared to the West in general. Okay, I can give you one example, guys. If you go out for a coffee, for example, with a local Vietnamese person here in Vietnam, it would be perfectly normal for either you or them to pay the bill. So people are not cheap in that way, you know what I mean? So it would be perfectly normal if the bill is like, for example, I don't know, $3, something like that, like 70K, for example, that you just, oh, you just pay it. And it doesn't, it's not because one of you has a lot of assets and money. It's just because that's the way it works here in Asia compared to the West. So, you know, for me, I'm like, what they call like a, like an egg, I guess, or something like that, like white on the outside, yellow on the inside, because that mindset that many people have in the West, where they are very picky with small amounts, I never understood that. Even back when I was very young in school, didn't have any money, I didn't understand why you would need to be so cheap with very small amounts, like, hey, you owe me $1 here, you owe me $2 here. That doesn't really happen here in Vietnam because people are more generous when it comes to that. And I'm talking about just this thing now with paying for your friend, uh, for their juice or for their coffee or anything like that. For example, the $3, the person who paid the $3 here in Asia would not be like stingy about it and they would not like, hey, I paid $3, uh, next time you owe me $3. Like, it doesn't really work like that here. So when it comes to small amounts, people are much more generous here and they don't really think about like the small, nitpicky, small amounts, you know what I mean? So that's one thing I really, it's very tiring in the West to go out with friends or stuff like that, especially if they are non-Asian, because usually if they are Asian, even in the West, they kind of get it. I'm talking about the general mindset that here, even if you meet a person who has an income, which is maybe 10% of your income in the West, Let's say that, for example, 10% of your income, they would not have a problem paying for your juice or even your meal. They would not complain. They would not say anything about that. So that's obviously very different from the West. I really appreciate that mindset. And it's much more easy to kind of hang out with Asian people, or Vietnamese people in general. I wanted to make this video because I just want to share a little bit about this. And if you're a Westerner or if you're a non-Asian living in another country, you have never been to Asia, you don't have any Asian friends, maybe this is, you're probably thinking, what am I even talking about? But for all of you out there who are either a bit gil yourself, you probably know what I'm talking about, no matter how Westernized you are. I mean, most vid gils I've met, they are not 100% Western when it comes to like those cheap stuff because they've seen their parents, their relatives, like you pay here, I pay next time, $2 here, $3 there, not a big deal, right? I remember one of the first time I was in Vietnam many years ago, uh, it was in the north, oh, 
It was almost a crash down there, guys. Anyway, it was in the north and it was a local restaurant, like hot pot thing, and it was like 12 people in total. And one of the guys, he paid, because you really have to be assertive. You, you almost have to fight to pay the bill. And if you're not used to that, it, it's probably overwhelming because that's just how it works in Asia, you know I mean? You kind of really have to be assertive and really go to the waiter and say, here's the money or here's my card or whatever, you know? Anyway, back to the story, guys. So uh, this guy, we were like 12 people, he paid the whole bill. And it was like, at the time, I mean, of course it's cheap, but it's like a rural area and it's many years ago, but it was like in dollars about $250, something like that, okay? That's a bike behind me here. We will see what they will do. I cannot see the screen here. They will probably wave or something like that. We'll see. Anyway, so the thing is, <laughs> did I wave? I don't know. You guys can tell. So he paid the whole bill, right? And I asked him later, I said, because I felt bad for him because I was like, uh, shit, can I like share the bill with you or something? Because that's like a lot of money. You know what I mean? Like, are you, are you going to pay that yourself? And he said like, yeah. And I said, but isn't that like a lot of like your salary? Because he was just a normal guy working a normal job. And he said, oh, that's, he said, oh, that's my whole salary for the month. And I was like, what? I said, but you cannot pay your whole month salary for one dinner. He said, that's just how it is. You just, sometimes you just have to take the responsibility. And I was like, whoa, you know what I mean? That's pretty crazy, but that's, that's how it is. But I kind of like it because you just have to give and you get back, you know? It's just the culture here and that's why I, I appreciate it. That's it. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I just hope you enjoyed the video and please share the video. Please like the video and please comment on the video as well. I really appreciate your comments. It will help the video get recommended to other people and I just want to create a discourse uh, topic for discussion about this because I've, I think it's very interesting when it comes to cultural traits and stuff like that. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video.